hello students today we are going to discussing about the remaining portion of the chapter biological classification so we started from the topic kingdom fungi the fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organism these show a great diversity in morphology and habitat you must have seen fungi on a moist bread and rotten fruits the common mushroom you eat and toad stools are also fungi white spots seen on mustard leaves are due to a parasitic fungus some unicellular fungi yeast are used to make bread and beer other fungi cause disease in plants and animals wheat rust causing Pachinia is an important example. Some are the source of antibiotic penicillium. Fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air, water, soil, and in animals and plants. They prefer to grow in warm and humid places. Yes, it is to prevent food from going bad due to bacterial or fungal infection. With the exception of yeast, which are unicellular fungi, are filamentous. Their bodies consist of long, slender, thread-like structures called hyphae. The network of hyphae is known as mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm. These are called conocytic hyphae. Others have sept or close walls in their hyphae the cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides this point is very important so please listen carefully i repeat the cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from diet substrates and hence are called saprophytes those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites they can also live as symbionts in associates with algae is lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means fragmentation fission and budding asexual reproduction is by spores called conidia or sporangiospores or juice spores and sexual reproduction is by spores ascospores and basidi spores the various spores are produced in distinct structures called fruiting bodies the sexual cycle involves the following three steps fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes called plasmogamy fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spore when a fungus reproduces sexually two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse in some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately result in diploid cells however in other fungi ascomycetes and basidiomycetes an intervening dikaryotic stage two nuclei per cell occurs such as condition is called a dikaryon and the phase is called dikaryophase of fungus later the parental nuclei fuse and the cells become diploid the fungi form fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs leading to formation of haploid spores the morphology of mycelium mode of a spore formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of the kingdoms into various classes phycomycetes members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats and in decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants the mycelium is accepted in conocytic asexual reproduction takes place by spores motile or by aplanospores non motile these spores are endogenously produced in sporangium a zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes 
these gametes are similar in morphology isogamous or dissimilar anisogamous or oogamous some common example are mucor rhizopus the breed malt and albigo the parasitic fungi on mustard now ascomycetes commonly known as sac fungi the ascomycetes are mostly multicellular for example pangicillium and rarely unicellular for example yeast saccharomyces they are saprophytic decomposers parasitic or coprophyllous growing on dung mycelium is branched and septic the asexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiospores conidia on germination produces mycelium sexual spores are called ascospores which are produced endogenously in cell like ascii these ascii are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascoscorps some examples are aspergillus claviceps and neurospora neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work Many members like morels and truffles are edible in are considered delicious. Basidiomycetes commonly known forms of basidiomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi or pogballs. They grow and swell on logs and tree stumps and on living plant bodies as parasites. For example, rust and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septate The asexual spores are generally not found but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strands or genotypes. The resulting structure is dikaryote which ultimately gives rise to basidium. Karyogamy and meiosis take place in the basidium producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium. The basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called basidioscorp. Some common members are agaricus, also known as mushrooms, and distillatio, also known as smut, and the pocinia, which one is also known as rust fungus. Eutromycetes, commonly known as imperfect fungi, because only the sexual or vegetative when the sexual forms of this fungi were discovered they were moved into classes they rightly belong to it is also possible that the asexual and vegetative stage have been given one name and placed under eutromycety and the sexual stage another and placed under another class later when the linkage were established the fungi were correctly identified and moved out of eutromycetes once perfect sexual stages of members of eutromycetes were discovered they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes the eutromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores known as conidia the mycelium is septate and branched some members are saprophytes or parasites which large number of them are decomposers of the litter and help in mineral cycling some examples are alternaria colitrichum and trichoderma now we will discussing about viruses virides prions and lichens <coughs> so now viruses in the five kingdom classification of ataker there is no mention of lichens and some acellular organism like viruses virides and prions these are briefly introduced here all of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses can have on us even if we do not associate it with our conditions viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not considered really living if we understand living as those organisms that have a cell structure the viruses are non cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inner crystalline structure of like the living cell once they infect a cell they take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves killing the host would you call viruses living or non living the name virus that means venom or poisonous fluid was given by dmitry Ivanovsky in the year 1892 
recognized certain microbes as causal organisms of the mosaic disease of tobacco. These were found to be smaller than bacteria. The cows they passed through bacteria profiles. M. W. Bijerin in the year 19 in the year 1898 demonstrated that the extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and called the fluid as contagium William fluidium, infectious living fluid. W. M. Stanley in the year 1935 showed the viruses could be crystallized and crystal consists largely of proteins. They are inert outside. Their specific hostile viruses are obligate parasites. In addition to proteins, viruses also contain genetic material that could be either RNA or DNA. No virus contains both RNA and DNA. A virus is a nuclear protein and the genetic material is infectious. In general, viruses that infect plant have single-stranded RNA and viruses that infect animal have either single or double-stranded RNA or double-stranded DNA. Bacterial viruses or bacteriophages, viruses that infect the bacteria are usually double-stranded DNA virus. The protein code called capsid made up of small subunits called capsomers protects the nucleic acid. These capsomers are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms. Viruses cause diseases like mumps, smallpox, herpes, and influenza. I've seen humans is also caused by virus in plants. The symptoms can be mossy formation with crawling and curling, yellowing and being, clearing, dwarfing, and stunt growth. Viroids. In the year 1971, T.O. Diener discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than viruses and caused body to spin the tuber disease. It was found to be a pre -arena. It lacked the protein code that is found in viruses, hence the name viroid. The RNA of the viroid was of low molecular weight, now prions. In modern medicine, certain infectious neurological diseases were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded protein. The agent was similar in size to viruses. These agents were called prions. The most notable disease caused by prions are bobbing spongiform encephalopathy BSE, commonly called mud and cow disease in cattle, and it is analogous variant CR Jacob disease CJD in humans. Now, lichens. Lichens are symbiotic association, mutually useful association between algae and fungi. The algal component is known as phycopiant and the fungal component is mycopiant. Please listen this again because it is very important and maybe it will come in examination. Lichens. Lichens are symbiotic association mutually useful association between algae and fungi. The algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is known as mycobiont, which are autotrophic and heterotrophic. Respectively, algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients in water for its partner. I am repeat. I will repeat which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively algae prepare food and fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partner so close is their association that is the show lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organisms with them lichens are very good pollution indicators lichens are very good pollution indicator they do not grow in polluted area okay so our chapter number two from the 11th class biological classification is completed now in our next video we will discussing about the plants kingdom and after that the animal kingdom for daily updates daily lectures and the daily audio notes and the audio books of the ncrt subscribe net wizards and share our videos